Welcome everyone to Lesson 1, our introduction to maps. This is Ms. Taggart. What is a map? A map is a generalized view of an area, usually some portion of the Earth's surface, as seen from above at a greatly reduced size. Maps can be seen in many different ways, especially when using Google, Google Maps today. Why are we making maps? To represent a larger area than we can see, and to present information concisely for those that have not seen it before. Maps are used to represent a larger area as seen in this map. They also can show us what we cannot see. This map is depicting deforestation. It also presents a vast amount of different information, especially population. It can also show spatial relationships. This map is showing color and where it can be found on this map. How do we read maps? Maps are selective views of reality. The size of the map is relative to its reality or scale. What is on the map includes symbolization, and the shape of the map is called projection. Take a moment and jot these things down. Understand, understanding map scale. Ratio of the distance on the map to the distance on the ground. Scale is a fraction. Larger area covered means larger denominator. A larger denominator means a smaller fraction. So a large scale map covers a small area. Such as this. We are taking a large view and then breaking it down into a street view. Map scale. The ratio of distance on a map to the distance on the ground. Graphic, where you are showing miles and kilometers. It stays the same when copied, and it might not be correct, however, for the entire map. Map scale. One inch equals 10 miles. It's easy to understand, however, it's always good to know that if the map is being photocopied, it's a little more difficult. However, when using Google Maps, it stays pretty steady. Next is map symbolization. Symbols are a code instead of text. There are three kinds. It includes point, line, and area. Consider shape, size, orientation, pattern, color, and value. These are a few examples. Every symbol on a map counts as one occurrence. So it would indicate location, show a distribution, As seen on this map, you're seeing here the picnic tables, camping, toilets, bus tour, and all can be found on this map of the, the National Park. This helps guide people quickly and easily because it's so easy to understand. This map is showing distribution. It's a population map. It can also be used to indicate a value such as this one depicting the 108th Congress districts and breaking them down racially line symbols. Line symbols are one-dimensional. They are mostly taken for granted because on a the map they are showing borders and roads. The flow line maps indicate a value by width of the line. This would be used far more in showing elevation. This map here is once again showing the National Park. This one is showing the contour lines and the elevation. Flow line maps are showing things like transportation. Area symbols. Each territory or region has one value. Cartographs or cartograms to sort area to show the value. This map is quite interesting. As you can see, you are not seeing your continents in your typical way. 
This is showing the religion from worldwide. This is a cartogram. Topographic maps. These can quite easily be seen now using Google Maps. However, the traditional maps were greatly useful for those traveling, hiking, things of that nature. Till the 1940s, you climbed to the highest point and plotted what you could see from there. However, after aerial photography after World War II would show two app overlapping photos and that would put it into a map. This would show 2D. However, 3D is what's creating the lines. Now we are going to complete our first map finding exercise. This is found in Schoology under Week 1, Homework 1. This is our Getting Geographic A to Z Geographical Scavenger Hunt. Using your student atlas from National Geographic, you are going to use the form found on Schoology within your homework tab. The directions are as follows. You're going to complete the activity finding all of these points using your atlas. This handout is where you are going to say where you found them. You're going to use the entire atlas and you're going to use every single one of the points found on page one. The assignment is going to be due tomorrow by 9 p.m. and it is going to be sent to my email. If you have any questions, please contact me by email. Have fun finding some points.